FTP or file transfer protocol is a method to transfer files between computers over a network. It is commonly used to share files like logs, backups, or even configuration files between servers, administrators, or developers. If you want to log into FTP, you would need a username and a password. But sometimes, anonymous login is allowed, which means anyone can connect and access these files. This is a common security mistake. In this video, we are going to be learning how to fully exploit a server by gaining root access where the anonymous login is allowed. This is the Anon4 CTF challenge from TryHackMe. So let's get started. So I'm in my Kali Linux right now. I'm connected to TryHackMe network with my OpenVPN. The name of this challenge is Anon4. I have already started my machine and got the target IP address. And our task is to find two files, user.txt and root.txt. So like every other CTF challenge, the first thing I will do is copy my IP address, open my terminal and do a nmap scan with the command sudo nmap. I will do an aggressive scan with the option dash a and paste my target IP address. After the scanning is completed, I can see port 21, FTP is open. 21 is the default port for FTP. I can also see this is the exact version of FTP service that is running. I also notice anonymous FTP login is allowed which means anyone can log into this FTP server without password or username. Now inside the FTP server there appears to be a Linux file system. In this file structure I immediately notice the not read directory because it is writable anyone can edit or change inside this directory. If I scroll down I can see port 22 SSH is open. So first let's log into FTP. I will type FTP and paste my target IP address. It is asking me for a username. Since we already know anonymous login is allowed, for the username, I will type anonymous and for the password, I will not specify anything and press enter and the login was successful. If I type ls, I can confirm the Linux file system. So first, let me change to the home directory. I'll cd to home. Inside the home directory, I can see there is a user called Melodias. I'll change to this directory. Inside this directory, if I type ls, there is a file called user.txt. I'll download this file to my machine by typing get the name of the file which is user.txt and the transfer has been completed. I'll open another tab and if I type ls, I can see the user.txt file. I'll cut out the contents of the file and we got the flag. This is the answer to our first question. We found the user.txt file. So I'll paste the answer and we were correct. Next, we have to find the root.txt file. So inside the FTP server, if I try to change to the root directory, I can see I cannot change the directory because I do not have permission for the root directory. So we have to log in as the root user. If I check the file system again, as previously mentioned, the only thing that stands out to me is the not read directory. So I'll change to this not read directory. And inside this directory, I can see a backup file and a private key. So I'll download both of these files in my machine. So first, download the backup file with the command get backup.pgp and the transfer is completed and then download the private key with the command get private.asc and the transfer has been completed in my system I can confirm both of these files so first I'll read the file backup.pgp I'll get backup.pgp and I can see that the file is encrypted we have to decrypt this file with our private key so if I cut out the content of private.asc I can see this is indeed a pgp private key so to decrypt backup.pgp, we first need to import the private key. So gpg space dash dash import the name of the private key, which is private.asc. I can now see in order to import this private key, we need to provide a password. But since we do not know the password yet, we have to brute force this password. So let's try to find the password for the private key. But before we do that, if you're doing a CTF challenge, it is very important that you're comfortable with the Kali Linux command line. So if you want a free Kali Linux cheat sheet, then click the first link in the description box and you will get this Kali Linux cheat sheet with the most commonly used commands. It is beginner friendly and super easy to understand. So click the first link in the description box to get this cheat sheet. Now to find the password of the private key, we first need to convert this private key into a hash and we can do this with the command gpg to john, the name of my private key which is private.asc and save the hash in a file called file.hash. Now I can see a new file has been created. If I get file.hash, I get the hash of the private key. Now let's crack this hash. We can crack this hash with john. So I'll type john, the name of my hash file, which is file.hash and I will use the word list rockyou.txt 
and I can see the hash has been cracked and the password is xbox360 so if I try to import the gpg key again and type the password xbox360 and I can see my secret key has been imported successfully so now I can decrypt the backup.pgp file so I'll type the command gpg dash dash decrypt the name of my file which is backup.pgp and save the output in a file called backup.txt so you have to use output before decrypt so gpg output backup.txt and decrypt the file backup.pgp I'll type the password xbox360 and now if I type ls I can see the new file backup.txt has been created if I cat out backup.txt I can see the shadow file of Linux which contains the username and the password hash so since I got the password hash of the root user I'll copy this create a new file called password.hash and paste the hash save the file by pressing ctrl and o at the same time in my keyboard and press enter and quit out of the file with ctrl plus x now the password.hash file has been created I can use john to crack this hash so I'll type john the name of my hash file which is password.hash and I will again use the word list rockyou.txt so dash dash word list user share word list and rockyou.txt now the hash has been cracked hickory was the password earlier since we saw that port 22 ssh was open I'll ssh as the root user I'll copy my target ip address and paste it are you sure you want to continue connecting yes and when asked for a password I'll type hickory and I'm successfully logged in as the root user I'll change to the root directory and inside this directory I can see the root.txt file so I'll cut out this file and we got the final flag I'll copy this paste it as the answer and we were correct so that is for the end of the video if you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching